my hair. I look pretty crappy right now, but that's because I just got out of the shower a little while ago. And I washed my hair because of the way I want to do it. I'm going to use my wand to like just throw some curls in there and give it like a little messy look. Um, if I was to just go from pin straight to wanding the curls, the curls would look more put together. And I want it to be more of a like effortless sort of look, even though it's not effortless because look at me. I'm about to sit here and spend like 20, 30 minutes on my hair, maybe less hopefully. But um, let's get started. But first, gotta play some music because the key to getting ready is listening to some bomb music. So first, what I start off doing is brushing out my hair because like I said before, I had just washed it and let it air dry. So I'm basically untangling it. I then go in with my wand. I just take random strands of hair and curl them. Most of them are going the same directions, but certain strands I just make go the opposite direction so that it could look more effortless. I sped up the video so that I didn't have to have you guys sit here just watching me wand my hair because I mean it's a simple process so it's not much to do but I just continue on to the other side and I do the same just take random strands and curl them. Fingers and run it through. Um, the wand I used was a Conair U curl. I think we got this from like Target. It goes up to 400 degrees. I used it on the highest degree level, and I just, like I said, just throw random curls in. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna start off with eyebrows. I'm gonna try and do it on camera, but. I don't know how this is gonna work out. Okay, because I usually use my dip brow, but I, my brush had broke, so I'm kinda like, you know, kinda gotta do with what I got. So I'm using this random pencil. It's a Define Align brownish black Maybelline pencil. I don't know if it's meant to be eyeliner or eyebrow pencil, but it's what I use. I got this from my roommate at school. Shout out to you, Jordan. Holding it down, sister. But yeah, so let me brush out these brows. Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and I'm gonna use the lightest shade and I just take my finger to blend it out Pro Concealer and Fawn to outline the top of my brows. I use lighter color on the bottoms to give it more of a highlight and then colors closer to my skin color on the top so it blends out way better. Maybelline to prime my face. Let's, 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 let's do the lids. So I'm gonna take um my LA Girl Pro and Toffee. I think that's how you pronounce it, pronounce it, Toffee. And I'm gonna use that on my lid. my mascara 
Master Fix by Face Studio Loose Powder um, with the blending brush to set my lid. So I'm gonna go in with my 120 color palette eyeshadow by BH Cosmetics. Use. I don't even really know what I want to do. Okay, so I'm gonna. My palette is really beat up. I had this for like maybe like three years now. So it's been through war. It's been through war. So don't judge me. I think it came with like some eyeshadow and I'm gonna go into okay I'm gonna go into my Kat Von D shade and light palette okay let me just say this all of the makeup I have is pretty much makeup I've been you like I've had for the longest and I don't do my makeup every day so it lasts me longer so I'm using my Kat Von D shade and light palette and it literally like the words are coming off that's how old it is. And most of the colors inside, like I've dropped it. So they're like gone. They fell out and I'm hitting pan on these. But anyways, that's besides the fact. I'm going to go in with, let's see what color is this. Lucid. I'm going to go in with Lucid and just put that under the brow. mascara i don't usually i don't like wear mascara a lot because i feel like it when i wash my face it like pulls on my lashes and then i barely have lashes to begin with so i feel like it makes my my lashes thinner i don't know i'm weird can't you tell i do all this extra ish for what i lost oh i'm looking for my 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 face powder so I can use the mirror and I'm like where'd it go and it's sitting literally right in front of my face. Hello Kareem, get it together. But this is Wet and Wild Mega Protein Mascara. Doesn't do much. It's not that good either, but you use what you got. something like that something i don't know but now one to the face i'm gonna start off with foundation i'm using the nars all day luminous weightless foundation in the color who knows what the color is i bought this so long ago and it doesn't even have like the sticker on the bottom gosh i'm such a horrible person but i'm just gonna Squirt some, pump some on the back of my hand, and then, you know, dot it on my face. Dot it on my face. to conceal my face.
with chocolate in the same palette and use that to carve out my cheekbones and my nose and contour my forehead. foundation brush from e.l.f. to blend out my nose contour. I don't use the same brush that I use for um, for contouring, like for blending out my contour on my face because it's too big. So then when you use a bigger brush, it moves the product and then it has it like all here, like basically under my eyes and goes in the middle of my nose. And what's the point of highlighting the middle of your nose if your contour cream is just going to mix with it? Master Fix Loose Powder again. I don't like to use, like, to bake with this for the simple fact that it's, um, it leaves, a, like, a white cast under my eyes, and then when I take pictures, it just looks like, you know, I'm trying to go ghost. So I just pat that literally right under my eye. Like, do you see the difference already with the powder being put there? You see like how you can see like a little bit of my bag here, <laughs> my bag, in my bag now, in my bag now, <laughs> no, but like, it looks like a flatter surface rather than this with no powder. finishing powder in medium light to set my whole face. Then I'm going to go in with my my Kat Von D shade and light palette in the only color brown I have left in here, the darkest ooh, color I have in it, with this fluffy elf brush. with this blending brush to contour my nose. I use this because it's it's lighter than the contour I use on my cheek and I don't like my nose contour to be like like and too like there. Cause it's like damn girl, you got a little brown stuff on your face. from MAC. This was like one of the first highlighters I bought. So it's, 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 it's gone. It's basically gone. I've hit pan on it already, but you know, I don't want to throw it away. I can't. I can't. I just can't. I'm going to go in with this angled foundation brush from e.l.f. And I'm going to highlight them cheekbones, girl. the 
just like soft and all the foundation look on my lip my lips and then i'm going in with this milani milani lipstick and natural chick okay so i don't really i don't know whatever don't even know what i was gonna say korean you don't really want Now I got this bright pink lip going on. And my hair is looking kind of like, what the? F Just kidding. No cursing. No cursing. Keep it PG-13, kids. So since I have my hair behind my ears, my hair kind of went flat. So I'm going to turn on the wand again and add some more zhuzh to it. Zhuzh. While that's heating up, I'm gonna change my outfit. So I changed my outfit not to add more curls to my hair. I do wanna say this lipstick is showing up more pink on the camera than it actually really is. But I mean, it doesn't look that bad. If it actually was that pink, I wouldn't have a problem with it. Now I'm gonna go back in with the wand and throw some more curls in my hair. Okay, so this is the finished look. Oh, I know what I forgot setting spray so let me grab that okay time to spray this face um i used the infallible pro spray and set by l'oreal fan it girl fan it okay but here's the finished look I actually think it came out nice for me not knowing what I was going to do with my hair, but, you know. Gotta take some selfies. With the hair flip. Feeling very model-less. You guys showed so much love. I retweets on my video, my pictures. I just, and I'm getting so much positive feedback. Even though not a lot of people watch them, I did get over 100 views in one day, and I'm very proud of myself for that. 100 isn't a lot, but that's 100 people that at least clicked the link. And like, even if you didn't finish the video, you started it. And I still love you for it. Even if you didn't watch the whole thing, I still love you for it. I love all of you. Thank you so much. Anyways. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.